Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Friday, Fabulous Friday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And earlier today in the Feminine reading, we used the Divine Feminine 101 and the Divine Feminine the Silence deck to really bring out what's going on in your mind, what you may be thinking about as a Feminine. So I want to use the same decks mirrored today to see what's going on with you, the Divine Masculine. So we're going to bring in the Divine Masculine 101. I'm going to bring in the Divine Mask and the Silence and I'm going to bring in the messages from Heaven to answer some questions about what you may be going through. And I know I use these kind of decks of cards in the DM to the F reading, but it's always really good to get into your mind as a masculine and help you to deal with what you're experiencing. So thank you, angels. What's going on with the masculine today? What's going on with the masculines today? Wow, I'm going to put them back in because way too many cards came out. So I feel that, you know, there's a lot you want to say. There's a lot on your mind. Maybe you're even struggling to decipher anything specifically. And that's why the cards are acting this way. So I'm going to calm the cards down. And the angels are asking you to calm down. There's no need to run anymore. I feel some of you are running away from your own self. You're running away from your own vulnerabilities and... Maybe even responsibilities by burying your head in the sand because you know the time is now. So you've been asked to rest and relax and breathe. And know that it's okay for you to slow down and make sense of this. Already as I'm shuffling the cards feel calmer. So a card jumped out. One card out that deck and then I've got three cards, four cards moving within the deck itself. So I feel this is the main message and then these other ones are other things you may be going through or things that may be affecting things. So what's happening with you maybe in the silence when you're thinking what's going on? What are you dealing with right now? Thank you, Angel. So a few cards coming out here. We're going to look at each card and I'm going to shuffle the messages from heaven as we go. So what I'm really connecting with, first of all, this is the card that really did stand out in the deck itself. This was the main one that wanted to come out. Oh, wow, look at that. I can't stop loving you. And that really resonates with the feminine message as well. The feminine saying to you earlier, I love you. I love you. And you're saying, I can't stop loving you. So maybe you've tried to. You may have tried to run from this connection. You've tried to run, bury your head in the sand, hide away. Get on with your karmic situation. Deal with what you're dealing with. Getting on with work, getting busy, blocking, ghosting, ignoring all these things. But no matter what, no matter where you go, what you do or who you're with, you can't stop loving your divine feminine. And that's what you're addressing right now because you're saying, I'm never going to stop loving this person. So it's time I sorted out my life. It's time I made the effort to make a change. It's time I let them know how I feel. It's time I put the effort in to move forward. And that's what you're going through. And that can be very strugglesome. You know, it can be confusing because you may not know which way to go, where to turn, what to do. You may not know how you're going to get out of your karmic situation because of things you've got going on there. So what you're sure of today, what you are clear about is that no matter what, you can't stop loving your feminine. And that means you have to make changes because you know where you truly belong. So I'm going to shuffle the messages from heaven. What do the angels want to say to you about this? That you can't stop loving them. Two cards. So first of all, Archangel Raphael is saying, you are a natural healer. You have the ability within you naturally to heal this situation to get out of all the stress and struggle that you find yourself in. You can naturally heal this situation by being you, by reaching out, by coming forward, because you deserve romantic love. So the romance angels themselves are coming through saying to you, you deserve this love. You can't stop loving your feminine because you deserve this love and you deserve this romantic type of love. So many of you may be in karmic situations that aren't loving or romantic. They're just day to day, eat, sleep, repeat cycles. And you know you deserve love and romance and sensual energy and intimacy in your life. And that's what you get with your family. You're saying today, you turn me on so much. And again, that's what I'm feeling. You know, you deserve love romantically as well as spiritually you turn me on, Divine Feminine, you turn me on. So you may be feeling turned on today. 
excited and that can also cause frustration and anger especially if you can't act on your desires or be there you feel that frustration because they turn you on so much sometimes all you have to do is think about your feminine and you were turned on so you're saying you turn me on so much not just in my body even though your body is feeling that today but also in your mind you love how you and your feminine have the great conversations and you know you get turned on by the topic of the conversation you get turned on by the way they look the way they walk the way they act you know everything within them you know their beauty is inside and outside and that's why they turn you on so much so what do the angels want you to say or want you to know where you go what do they want you to say so i feel this is a big message about communication you know you're being turned on so much by your family because you know you have to communicate so jesus is saying to you believe in me believe in me so i feel this message coming through is believe in yourself believe that you have the power through jesus to make big changes in your life because when you ask it's given and Archangel Orion is the angel of dreams, dreams manifesting, coming true, working on what you want. So you may be having a dream where you ask your family for a future or a second chance or to make love or to do any of the things you're dreaming about. And Archangel Shamuel is saying you'll find what you're looking for. What you're looking for right now is already within you. It's within you and it's within your family, that powerful light. And I'm helping you to find your way. So the things you get turned on by, not just your family, but the things you're passionate about, the things you long for, the things you want to do, and what you're being guided towards. And that's why Archangel Jeremiah is helping you with karmic endings so you can be finally free to be with your twin the right way. And, you know, masculines, it's hard for you because you do repress these feelings sometimes and all these emotions physically because you don't want to hurt your feminine. You don't want to disrespect them in any way or let them down. And you're saying, I think about touching you, <clears throat> the block in my throat. <clears throat> and again, there's this block in the throat coming up <clears throat> because, you know, you're thinking all these things, but you also want to act on them. I think about touching you and touching you with words, not just physical touch. So I feel that that's why they give me a block in the throat there because there's healing taking place in the throat chakra. So you can connect with them and talk to them and touch them with words. So what does the angels want to say? One card coming out, breakthroughs are coming. Archangel Nathaniel, the bulldozer of heaven, saying the breakthroughs that you've been dreaming about and wanting are coming. Why? Because you're going to be able to break through the fear. You're going to be able to break down those walls and take off those masks and communicate and reach out and show how you feel. And that's, look at this, let's get together and talk. So that's what you're wanting. You're wanting to get together and talk. And you want more than that. You want to touch them. You want to feel them you want to make love but you want to talk about it you want to get together in person and talk yes some of you may only have the option right now to talk in the 5d or even online but you want to meet up your goal is to get together in the physical world and talk about the future so what do the angels want to say and again i feel that message about breakthroughs is also for this We've got Archangel Jeremiah saying, you're ready. You're ready for a change. You're ready to reach out. You're ready to get together. You're ready for this change, even if you don't feel that way because of your own fear. And Jesus is saying, forgive and heal. When you forgive yourself, you're able to heal. And then you're able to apologize and make a move towards your family. And you're saying, being with you is the best part of my day. So whether that's in your mind or in the physical you know that being with them is the best part of your day. And that's what you want. You want to enjoy being with your twin. You know, as a twin flame in union, whenever I'm away, you know, say if I'm shopping or I'm out and about, I can't wait to get home to George because being with him is the best part of my day. You know, when I'm awake and I'm doing my work in here, I'm longing to be there with him because he's the best part of my day. But I still enjoy everything I'm doing in the here and now. And that's what you're saying. You're saying being with you, even if that's just in a dream or in a fantasy in my mind or 
you know, through a conversation, it's the best part of my day. And the angels are saying to you, you deserve love. You deserve to have this every day, every moment of every day, not just at a certain time of day. So what do the angels want you to know about this? So the first card is Archangel Raphael saying, I can help you to heal others. So remember, you are a natural healer of this situation and of your own life. And Raphael is saying, if you want this, if you want this all the time with your family, then you have the power to heal it, forgive and heal. And Archangel Michael is saying, I'm here, you're not alone. And all you have to do is reach out to your family and say, I am here. I'm not going anywhere. I love you. So remember your power and you're going to be able to do that. So all the angels are helping you today to stand strong. Look at this. This really matters and this is important because in the feminine reading today, the card came out, do I matter to you? Do I matter? And you're saying, yes, you do. You do matter to me and I do care. I just struggle to show it sometimes. And that's what you're working on. You're working on being able to show it in a physical way. So feminine's cross-watching. Yes, you do matter. So if you feel you didn't get the answer you needed in the feminine reading, there it is. You do matter to me and I do care. So what do the angels want to say about this? The card's coming out. Your guardian angel is saying, I'll always be with you. And what you can send to your feminine energetically is you'll always be that. You'll always love them. You can't stop loving them. You'll always be that. And you are loved masculine so much more than you know. So much more than you allow yourself to believe. And really, this is what you're saying to your feminine. Of course, I matter. Of course, you matter. Of course, we both matter. But of course, you matter to me. I just struggle to express it. You are loved by me so much more than you actually allow yourself to believe. And Raphael is saying, I can help you to heal. So there's this real energy coming through in your reading today from Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, saying you have the power to heal this connection. And you have the power to heal your life, but you must believe in yourself. A lot of you are focused on work because maybe you've got financial things going on or you want to work, you're focused on your career, you're focused on making money, you're focused on being away from your karmic partner by being at work. But I feel this is focused on doing the work to actually get where you need to be spiritually. So the card's jumping on the camera, you can do this well. So whatever you're thinking of, Archangel Gable is saying you can do this, you can focus on doing your work, you can make this happen, you can get out of debt, you can be successful. Remember who you are. And the angels are assisting you with music. So you're receiving messages and music about things. You're being shown the way. Your feminine is sending songs to you. So you're being assisted with music in many ways. And I feel some of you are musicians. And your work, if you want to make music, it will work. So the angels are helping you with that. When I block you, I block myself. And that's what you know. You know that you understand it's not your feminine's fault. So feminines, if you've been blocked recently or in the past, it's not you. And yes, it sounds like a cliche. It's not you, it's me. But what they're saying is it's not because of you. It's not because I don't want or love you or I want to erase you from my life or my mind. It's because I feel pressured. So you know that when you feel pressured, you tend to press that block button. Or go and hide away, or go in your cave, or go within yourself. But you also know that when you push your feminine away or block them, you're actually blocking yourself. And you're blocking yourself from the best thing that's ever happened to you. But you have to do that to deal with your own fears. It's the way you deal with it. So feminine's cross-watching. Never take it personally if they block you or ghost you because they are processing and they will unblock you when they're ready. So the angels are saying to you about this, replaced out with faith, remember who you are, stand strong and be good to yourself and others. So this is what you're learning. Jesus is saying you don't need to block this love. You don't need to block your family. Instead, be good to yourself and others by embracing the love. Be good to your divine family. And you're saying, well, I'm acting crazy because I'm jealous. And this is really powerful. The message in the family reading was you're not going crazy. So maybe families, you feel crazy because your masculine is acting that way. But it's because they're jealous. They don't want you with anybody else. So masculine, you're saying, I'm acting crazy because I'm jealous. I don't like the thought of you being with anybody else. So do something about it. 
reach out and show your feminine how much you care. There's no need to be jealous because for them, there's only you. And the message from heaven is you have the power. Archangel Michael is saying to you, you can do this. You have the power. You can heal this connection. There's no need to be jealous. There's no need to act crazy. All you need to do is reach out and show that you care. And that's what you're being guided to do. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.